orgasmic living. How does it get any better than this? I am your host, Patty Alfonso, and today's question comes from Pao Miranda in Mexico. And her question is, why is it so easy to discount orgasmic energy? Oy, what a great question. Um, first of all, I want you to hang out with me until the end of this video because I have a couple of free gifts for you. And second, before I address this question, I want to welcome all of the new countries that are playing with us today. So I made a list here, so I'm going to read from it. Um, we have Australia, Brazil, Canada, Croatia, Denmark, France, Germany, India, Ireland, Israel, Italy, Japan. Welcome, Japan. Mexico, yay, how does it get better? Um, the Netherlands, Poland, Romania, Slovenia, Sweden, the United Arab of Emirates, yay, how does it get better? Of course, the United Kingdom and the United States. So I just wanted to shout out to all of those countries. I'm so grateful that you are joining me every week. And again, okay, so let's cut right to the chase. Our question. Why is it so easy to discount orgasmic energy? And I have a couple of things that I want to play with you today around this topic. When I started tapping into this energy, and this has actually been coming up a lot um, between me and some of my VIP clients recently, and there's two things that, hi Maria, welcome. There's two things that came up right away around like, why do we discount this energy? It's an energy that's innately available to your body. It's an energy that we all have when we are born. It's an energy that is generative and expansive. So what's the deal? Like how come we so easily shut it down? And when I started looking at that, the things that came up were around shame and judgment. And there's a third one that I'm gonna elaborate more in a second. So. Most of us have been incredibly shamed and judged around these energies of the energies of orgasm, sexual energies. Our bodies have been shamed and judged um, forever throughout lifetimes this has been going on and this isn't just a thing that women are shamed because of the way you know the size of their bodies or whatnot this is also is true for men as well men experience body shame men often um, don't feel like they're muscular enough or you know that they have the perfect body that they need to have to like attract a woman or that there's something wrong with them if they don't have a six-pack you know and then this energy this sexual orgasmic energy we are continuously shamed if we have too much of it, if we don't have enough of it, um, if we're being inappropriate with it, right? Rather than really acknowledging and celebrating this energy as a generative creative energy. So those that shaming that occurs energetically, as well as verbally and you know whether it's your physical body that's been shamed or it is you the infinite being that's been shamed for being too much too loud too pretty not pretty enough too big too small whatever those things are that have created right that you have used to actually create toning yourself down i think that's a couple of the the reasons why we discount this energy so quickly and another piece that i was looking at with this is that this if we all really truly lived orgasmically right hi cynthia welcome beautiful if we all truly allowed ourselves to be that happy that joyful that huge right that big in this world if we allowed ourselves to really go for our dreams and to really step out into this world sometimes we are often met with a little bit of pushback you know i happen to be a very joyful person you know about like 95 percent of the time and most of the time people's reactions is like what's wrong with that girl she's why is she so happy that's like weird right so 
you're either judged for being too happy or you're judged because you're not happy enough, right? So there's all of this energy of shame and judgment around, wrapped, intertwined with orgasmic energy and orgasmic living. So I'd like to, I'd like to invite all of you as you go through this week to notice those times when you're like vibrantly expressing yourself and what it is that that creates for you and what it is that gets created when other people reflect back to you their own judgments and projections and just notice you know this question of why is this energy so easy to discount i think that it's also a really personal question because it's going to be different for everyone um, most of the things that I've mentioned or things that I have, you know, personal experience with. Um, so I'd like to invite you to get present with yourself and start asking yourself, wow, what is it that, what is it that creates me choosing to discount this energy? Okay. Now, um, side note before I share the last thing with you is that I've been getting a lot of questions around like what is orgasmic energy how do you have this energy what is this and for those of you that haven't seen I did create a free gift for you around these very particular questions of like what is orgasmic energy how do I have it what do I do with it and so I would love to invite you all to check it out at pattyalfonso.sexy slash six keys so there are six keys to living an orgasmic life and they are not what you think and they all come with action steps so that you can start living orgasmically now. So that addresses all of those questions that I'm, that I'm still getting. Okay, back to <laughs> why it's so easy to discount this orgasmic energy. And I actually have a question and that question is, I'm gonna read it. Um, or I'm going to formulate a new one in the moment. How often do you actually use the creative, generative energies that are available with your body? And this question came up because Actually, it was thank you to another VIB client that I was working with the other day. So this next, this next little section is inspired by what her and I were going over. Um, we are not taught how to be present with and use our body's generative creative energies. We are actually taught to be distracted by our bodies. Okay, so this is how it kind of goes. You have a thing going on, right? A pain, a discomfort, maybe, you know, you, you sprained your ankle or whatever that distraction is for you and for your body. Maybe it's not the size that you want it to be. Maybe you go to the doctor and you get your physical and then your doctor tells you, oh my God, this is so fucked up. If you don't do this, then you're going to get this down the line. And if you don't change this, then this is going to be a problem. So this reality has created our bodies as a problem, which then distracts us from being present with our bodies in a generative, creative way. Now, these energies that I was talking about before, like being shamed and being judged, those are also distractions. Right, So we put our attention on people's projections or their expectations or how they're judging us for the way that we look or the way that we talk or the way that we be, and then we get distracted with that energy. Okay, Or something's going on with your body and you get distracted with trying to fix that problem. Right, And you're putting all of your sort of energy and awareness and attention over here on all of these distractions. They're just distractions. Distractions from what? Distractions from the generative creative energies that your bodies can be for you. So instead of creating your life with your body, like, ha, huh, you're over here distracted trying to fix everything, trying to get it right, trying to, trying to live up to someone else's standard. Now, I was talking to my client and, um, 
I had a little analogy for her that I want to share with you. And that is that, let's just, over here are the distractions. Over here is generative, creative energy, orgasmic energy, joy, gratitude, um, you know, expansiveness, happiness, like all of that is over here. But we're constantly focused over here. So let's say that this over here is actually an insane asylum. Let's say that you're walking down the street and over here, it's an insane asylum. You're like, oh, that's interesting. Okay, and then there's a guy or a girl, whatever works for you, hanging out the window, yelling all of these crazy things out the window. What are those things for you? You know, uh, you're too loud, you're too happy, there's something wrong with you, you know, you're too pretty, you're too big, you're too small, you can't do that, you know, this isn't okay, you shouldn't be touching yourself that way, you shouldn't be, what are those things for you? Whatever those voices are, let's put them all in an insane asylum because that's actually what they are, is just insanity lies, projections, judgments, stuff that isn't actually real, that isn't actually generative. You know, it's probably creates a lot of heaviness in your universe. So you're walking down the street, you see a person hanging out the window and they're yelling all these things to you. If that was actually really like, would you pay attention to what this insane person is saying? Would you take any of it personally? Ponder that. There is a person hanging out an insane asylum with in a straight jacket and they were yelling all of these things at you. Would you like, oh my God, really? Is that what's wrong with me? Oh my God, I should fix myself. Oh, you're right. My body's this way. Oh my God, I should go to the doctor and I should get that surgery and I should do this and I should do that and maybe I should take medication. You're right. I'm so depressed. My life is terrible. You're right. You're right. Is that what you would do? <laughs> so why? Why are you choosing that? This is another way in which we discount these amazing generative energies because we think that these insane energies and these insane things are more important for some reason. Why would you do that to yourself? Stop it. Just stop it. <laughs> what you need to do is tell the insane asylum person to shut the fuck up, to back off, and then bring your awareness and your attention to the energies that are creative for you, the energies that are creative for your body. And some of those, again, orgasmic energy, pleasure, joy, exuberance, um, gratitude, curiosity, wonder, like, not curiosity and wonder about how fucked up you are <laughs> or why this person who's saying these insane things might be right. No, 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 pivot <laughs> to the more generative energies, right? And really starting to get present with what are the things that activate that contraction and that constriction of you and your body and what you could be choosing. Now, um, when you go grab my free gift, which you can find at pattyalfonso.sexy slash six keys, you're also gonna get invited to a masterclass that I'm teaching next week, and it's free, and we're gonna dive into deeper all of these things of you know shame and judgment around your body and the ways in which you can actually go beyond that and really start including in, including your body and your life in a completely different way. That's what I love about the tools of access consciousness. They include the body in the journey towards consciousness in a way that is honoring of the body, in a way that is generative for the body, in a way that is generative for your life and for your living. Not in a way that it's someone else telling you what you should be doing with your body. So I hope that you will come play with me. Grab my free gift, pattyalfonso.sexy slash six keys. If you have any questions that you would like to submit for this show, Orgasmic Living, you can do so at orgasmicliving.live. I adore you all. Thank you so much for being here. How does it get any better than this? Thank you, Maria. Thank you, Cynthia. And I'll see you guys next week. Mwah! Bye for now.